either concurrent with or afterward, um, I'll either start Dark Souls 2 or I'll start um, Zero Time Dilemma. Thanks, Dark. Have a good one. Pyramid Magic 2 is not finished. Um, I'll probably, it'll probably still be the game that I play on weekends randomly, that kind of thing. I had um, some passwords, right? Chit chat passwords. I wonder if Adrian's pat so Adrian was the one who was responsible for hiding all of that Horus imagery. So I wonder if his password, Falcon123, for HypnoS is the same one for the Horus stuff. In think in going back and thinking about it, the um the password document I figured was probably my most likely progress forward on this thing. Because I don't think I have to solve this. Oh, nice. Okay. That does work. I don't think I have to solve this. I just uh, didn't really want to leave off having not figured this out. Important message received from half underscore Chelsea. Um, how do I do that? Here. Wrong. How do I do that? Here. Hmm. Oh, you can find, okay, so like Adrian hid one and then ended up getting it found. Artie hid two and they both got found? Who is A. Larson? He hid seven instances of it, and none of them were ever found. I bet there's a nice little Easter egg. Not necessarily like, um... Not necessarily like the game acknowledges it, but I bet there's more of these around and you can find them. You just have to know where you're looking, I guess. Kazuma? 
Who are these people? Larson. Maybe I can find an instance of that. My expectation is that I could find all of them. For a game like this that's so thorough on the world building, I would be shocked if you're actually not able to discover all of the instances of it. Probably wouldn't be someone in the SAI. They tell me it's a blue moon. Red through my window, my sheets, slashes of red across my pillow. Your mint gum. Uriah, thank you so much for the resub. A lot of blank space on this page. Every time I see this much blank space, I think, to check the all-seeing eye, but for a page like this, I don't expect it to have anything on it. No longer lost. I am now Pizza Styler. Downloading Pizza Style Zero One. The Buttery Crust Enigma. Downloading Pizza Style Zero Two. Downloading Pizza Style Zero Three. Downloading Electric Pizza. Music file added to Toonbox library. Just cool. Cool is 128 pixels high. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> no, I will not add pizza dance style gooper beat. Oh my god, gooper beat? What the fuck is gooper beat? Cloudy Shoe, thanks for the res resub. I stand with Gooper as well. It's Haze, I guess, but with occasional samples of people cheering you on, saying, Way to go! I don't know why it exists and only added it because CP Shaman kept pestering me and she's a good person. Cooper B. Probably worse. Damn, that is the most boomer thing I've ever seen. Kid, there's no such thing as a grumpy old man. When you get older, you stop being polite and start being honest. Ugh. Okay, let's go back to um, seeing what we can find from this revelation place. Or no, it was uh, leaky piping, wasn't it? L leaky piping? Well, there's more to this page than I found the first time. I didn't really... This is a stupid sentence for me to say. I didn't realize this page scrolled all the way down. So I got Mystery of the Deleted Zones. There's something else here. Dylan's bad car game.
Damn. We need to get on the balls. So true. Is there anything else on this page I'm missing? Yeah, the lore behind this game is this was a internet system that people used while they slept. And there was a huge virus, bug, some sort of problem that happened that uh, killed some people. We're trying to tie it back to uh, the devs of, of uh, Hypnos Space. This one doesn't seem like it's implicating anything. Okay. I'll send it all. Is that like a real thing in tech? I mean, all of this is going to Sam, but... Hypnospace is like ice cream, it's good. I'm reading the abscart.
I don't see what the big fuss is about beef brain. People love beef. Important message received from Dylan. You may fly with shift. Wow, good addition. Dylan, you've done it again. Endless Revolt, thank you so much for the resub. Dark Light Tiff has ascended. And a file retrieved. What? Ringleader Roddy has ascended. File retrieved from citizen Ringleader Roddy. Citizen 005. I don't know who that is. Zane rocks. I'm sure Zane's fine. I'm sure he's up in heaven bullying Cory as we speak. Pretty shitty game. You lose control after you capture an outlaw. Dylan, I don't think this is ready to ship. Yeah. 
downloading 7 files. Hot dab! Oh, no myth. Thank you so much for the resub. <laughs> Red Strike songs by Red Strike. Yeah, it sounds like it worse. Sounds like if I just scrolled down, 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 down. Those were, um... Well-written apologies. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit dusty in this room. Yeah, at uh, the year 2000, the mine crash virus ended up killing like seven people. So the game ends with you... Uh... Well, yeah, it wasn't the mine crash virus. It was problems with the year 2000 update. But the game ends with you downloading his apologies. Was it, I mean... Uh, are we just conflating terms or what? Because I don't. I didn't think that it was Beef Brain. Like I thought, Beef Brain ended up not being real, but he did cause problems with the update.
So it, it's probably just me misreading things, but my interpretation was was that not necessarily the car game was the reason for the crash, but that uh, Dylan was negligent to fixing the actual issues with the update software because he was so focused on his game. There's perhaps a lot of context I'm missing that would confirm that it was actually the car game that did it, but that wasn't my interpretation of it, based on what, what parts I saw. Yeah, I got the impression from reading the, the messages in the chat logs that he was neglecting actual problems that needed fixing and that that might have been the actual, the actual bigger, like, you know, if there's a lot of, a lot of different elements in play, that seemed like that was the, the, the true killer was that there were problems with the software. Yeah, it's the it's the first to market problem, you know, which is common in startup culture, you know, releasing a product that's clearly not ready for market because first to market's the most important thing, the only important thing. This game's really good. Um I'm not sure if I would find it fun trying to hunt down every single page, but I'm certain that I'm missing a lot of interesting pages by not being thorough. But at the same time, I don't think I want to. You could save Zane, yep. I wonder whether or not Sherry dies if you don't ban her. That's interesting. It says I have 100% of pages on the HAP internet, but I'm clearly missing a page. There's like a lot of pages I'm missing though. I mean, m more than 50% of the content in this game I'm missing. No, this one's not just unlisted. This is unarchived. This is such a cool game. It's such a cool concept. Gamifying something like this is really interesting because I feel like the real challenge for a project like this is how do you turn it into a game, right? Like if you want to create sort of a an alternate reality um, browsing GeoCities simulation, like, that on its own is a thing, but actually turning it into a game seems like a real challenge, so... It's impressive. It's impressive how well of a job... Uh, how, how good of a job they did.
This is my I think if I were to want to continue, I think the things I'd want to find are the other eyes of Horus. All right, Grumpy Grimold, go for it. What's the thing that What's the thing that I missed that you think I'll love? Have I seen the Chowderman Christmas video? No. In the cool fest area, his merch shop has it. Okay. He's got a Santa hat under his cowboy hat. God, Hot Dad is so good.
There's Christmas pain in Christmas Town. Yo, what's up with, with that said? I wonder how Hot Dad got involved in this project because I feel like his aesthetic is so central to Hypnospace Outlaw. Like, imagine Hypnospace Outlaw without Hot Dad in it. Like, is it the same game at all? Yeah, Albert, I'm having a great time. This is like a whole ass music video. What is going on? Look at the kid! <laughs> that kid is fucking vibing! Holy shit! <sighs> that was so powerful. When he sang There's Christmas Pain in Christmas Town, that affected me. Nobody takes a dump on Hot Dad's face.
This game owns. I had a great time playing it. I'm glad I finally got back to it. I don't know, um, like, I just, I don't know how much of it is the additional content. Like, I don't know, now that they've added additional content, I imagine it's some of the most, uh, difficult to find stuff. So I don't think that I necessarily encountered very much of it, if I had to guess. 